show day remix <laughs> hello guys hello lovelies how y'all doing today today i want to come on here and i wanted to show you guys and talk to you guys about all the things i have been loving over probably the warmer months um because i haven't did one of these in a while and also i wanted to thank all my new subscribers and everybody that comments on my channels I love it I love it I love it and thank you guys so much for it so let's get started because my videos are always so long for absolutely no reason now I have been loving a little bit of everything so I don't just have like um, beauty products I have house products like all together I mean just all kind of stuff just things I've been loving one of the things I've been loving, and I cannot uh, show it on video because it needs to be refrigerated, although I could grab it, but it's cappuccino, not cappuccino, Starbucks's iced coffee. I love the caramel one. Mmm. It's hot outside, and I just like a cup of cold coffee to keep me going. And speaking of that, you guys are going to see me reach because I have quite a bit of stuff, and it's all on my... Um, coffee table speaking of that i have been loving this mug like i have been it's called the future is bright i've been going to this mug constantly because it's big i can put my ice in here with my um iced coffee on top you know with a little bit of cream and sugar because it, it's not really that sweet so i just add and um i don't really use sugar i just use like some low calorie syrup kind of like what they actually use in starbucks so i've been loving this mug and i've been loving my starbucks iced coffee and it's like four or five dollars at kroger versus going and getting um iced coffee every day for what four or five dollars by itself so i've been really loving this mug okay um maybe i should kind of turn this way a little so i won't be reaching so much um Another thing is um, that I've been loving is we're going to get into hands, sanitizing your hands. If you know anything about me, which uh, quite a bit of my subscribers actually know me personally, you know that I have an OCD about the cleanliness of your hands. Matter of fact, when I come through my front door, the first thing I do is wash my hands after I kick my shoes off. So I have a, a really bad OCD about hand washing and I wash my hands thorough and also because I cook a lot and I wear nails. So um, I go through, we go through paper towels and hand wash. Um, oh my goodness. I, I think we go through, I have to constantly buy paper towels and hand wash like weekly. But any, anyways, one of the, my favorite um, hand washes right now is this dial and it's this one is in coconut water and mango and it's hydrating as you can tell i wash my hands so much like look at that my nails are peeling so i wanted something hydrating but that will also get rid of the bacteria and do the dark garden job so i buy quite a bit of these i pick quite a bit of these up when i go to like walmart they're only like 90 cents at walmart so i have one like in the bathrooms in the kitchen and some of them just stop Okay, I guess we'll just go in order um, with, you know, since we're talking about hand stuff. Another thing I've been loving is my baby magic gentle baby lotion, original baby scent, loved for generations. I love this. It smells so good. I don't like a strong lotion smell. Matter of fact, I hate applying lotion. Is anybody else like that? Like, I don't like lotion like i don't like to apply i don't like i don't even like moisturizing my face i hate the way it makes my skin feels but i have to moisturize my face so <laughs> gotta do it okay another thing is yeah y'all i'm probably going to get a lot of slack on this a lot of people are gonna be talking bad about me but it's okay i've been loving this dove 
dry spec spray and I get the one in powder soft. Y'all, it's hot. I don't have time to be musty and I've tried every natural deodorant I have come across. I've even ordered some online. I've been into health food stores. I didn't get the Walmart, the Kroger. It doesn't work for me once I leave this door. It might last a couple of hours in the house, but it's not working. And I just cannot be musty, y'all. I just, oh, I can't do it. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, this, this does the trick for me. And it smells so good. But if you're going to use those ladies and gentlemen, because men have the spray spray too, don't spray it in a closed area. Matter of fact, don't even spray it in your bathroom. Come out in an open area and spray it because you don't want to inhale it because it is strong if you spray it. You don't want to inhale it. So, and ladies, it's not cheap. <laughs> the price of beauty and smelling good is not cheap, y'all. Okay, moving on. And y'all don't talk about me. Don't roast me because I'm doing what I do. I've been loving this new freshness uh, cinnamon deodorant spray, hypo allergenic. Now, you cannot roast me, and please don't, because it does not have, um, is it Tylic is what this called, Tylic? It doesn't have any of that in it. Who is it? Y'all, sorry about that. It was UPS. <laughs> we always ordering something. Anyway, so don't roast me on it. It has almost when you look at the ingredients, it has almost like pretty much a lot of um, natural ingredients. Uh, some, some not so natural, but the ingredients that I see in here are not, I don't see anything um, really bad. Um, that, that's harmful, that will like cause any type of cancer. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Um, another thing, sorry, let me lean over and get it. I guess I could have put it closer to me, y'all. Um, is, I have been loving the smell of this, this Dove Go Fresh. Oh my goodness, it smells like peaches and, I mean, it smells like, um, pears and like, candy like some type of mm -hmm, vanilla type candy it smells so good and it's a good thing because Giorgio likes dove too and he likes the smell of this another thing i've been loving and this is new i've been trying this it's with odor reducing ingredients this summer e fragrance spray cleanse wash i've been loving this and i'm sorry y'all some of this stuff is not cheap because this is not cheap um but I've been loving it, ladies, and I got fragrance-free. I Y'all know from my hygiene video, I don't use anything with fragrance on it, typically, you know, on your, your, your pee parts. <laughs> okay, so another thing I have been loving is this Suave Watermelon Slushy Shampoo. And this tropical fruit smoothie conditioner. Now I've been loving it because of the smells, but I've also been loving it because this goes so good with this this curly weave. Like when I wear my curly weaves and stuff, this goes really really good. Um, and you know, I really bought this for your gel to give some of that heavy heavy super heavy conditioner a break. But I've been loving these. Yes, and. Yes, Suave. They're only like $3 at Walmart. Okay, so. Ugh. Another thing I have been loving is. Let me grab all of these things. I don't know why I chose to sit everything so far. It's just if something spills, I don't want it to spill on my couch, y'all. My old school couch, I love, I want it like an old school 80s, um, 70s vibe, and when it, but I wanted it to be gray. 
when I seen this couch at Ashley's, I had to have it. <laughs> it reminds me of like that old school furniture, like that big roomy old school furniture that you would see in like, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody mama house, not grandma, but y'all know what I'm talking about. If you are an 80s baby, you, you remember that big comfortable couch that you'd rather sleep on in your bed. That's what this couch reminds me of. I love this couch. But anyways, um, I've been using this Good For You Girls Purifying Toner Gluten-Free and Vegan Clarifying Toner Refines, Pores, and Controls Oil Without Irritation. I've been using that. Now, if you do decide to order this, um, it has kind of like a fishy smell almost like a fishy smell so yeah I just want to warn you about that it's supposed to smell like fruit but it don't okay so y'all I've been loving this super hair bonding glue for my lashes my face is so oily in the summertime like nothing is sticking my glass my eyelashes I just cannot make them stick so I've been having to use bonding glue y'all and What's the difference? I don't know. If you know, I don't know. It's not going to kill me. It's, it hasn't killed me since. And I've been using bonding glue since I was, Lord knows when. Okay, so another thing I've been loving, and I am getting older. My birthday is at the end of this summer, and I am damn near 40. So I have, over the, for the last two years, I have been using, like, anti-wrinkle or wrinkle-reducing serums and moisturizers. So I've been loving this serum. Really nice and it's so pretty. Look, it has like little flowers and stuff in it. I've been using that. I just use it at night. Okay, and another thing that I have been loving is this Fruita face moisturizer. It makes it's a it's in green grape it actually comes with a toner and a wash but I'm the type of person where I feel like when you buy the whole line it just it's like a hit and miss one works better than the other so I did not want the face wash or the toner to this because I I'm just like that even with even if you were to use like practice lotion I feel like the face wash is not good the toner is probably not the best but the actual cream to get rid of the, the acne might be the only thing that I would be interested in. That That's just me. I kind of buy stuff all over the place. I don't never buy the whole line. But this is pretty good, you guys. Um, pretty decent. It's supposed to make your, make your face a lot matter. Um, yeah, and I have it on today. And it's um, making my foundation look pretty, pretty good. Because I don't have a lot of... Um, primer on and I don't have a high-end good makeup on matter of fact I what do I have on today I have ColourPop's foundation on so yeah give that a try it's I think this is like $16 it's not 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 too bad okay y'all know I had to bring it out y'all know I had to do it um just some makeup items I think I only have a few but anyways I've been loving this these 5D Fox Mink by Soul lashes that I get at my local beauty supply. I have some on today. So they're not like super dramatic, but they are like, like so comfortable. Like I don't even know that they're on. A lot of lashes that I put on, I can tell, I can feel them all day that I have lotion on. And I'm like, ugh, it drives me crazy, but yeah check out your local beauty supply um i think they're like 3.99 they're not bad and they look really really good another thing that i have been loving is this banana dream loose powder i got this from marshall's for 2.99 such a long time ago I actually forgot I had it and was not using it, but I have been loving this for my under eye. Just loving it. Y'all, y'all can see my glass 
glasses mark so excuse that but i've been loving this for my under eye and you cannot beat it 2.99 found it at marshall's you can also get this online on amazon it's like six seven dollars on amazon i think okay so i am really really late to the game when it comes to fenty beauty rihanna's line so i thought one day i was in sephora i was bored out of my mind so i went to sephora and I thought that I would give her foundation a try. Uh, I should say another try. I tried it before and I don't know. For some reason, I took it back. I think I tried it when it first came out. And my shade was actually sold out in almost every store and even online. So I got like a shade darker. And her foundation oxidized. So it, it got a little darker on me and it was just not... I just was not feeling it, so I took it back and never thought to go back and, you know, try it again. But I said I was going to support my girl. I really, really, really love Rihanna. She's, like, one of my favorite when it comes to, um, like, what kind of artist is she? I wouldn't call her hip-hop. I wouldn't call her R&B. She's, what kind of artist, what, what would you call them, like, I have no idea. She's just a good, she just puts out good music and she's a good performer. But anyway, so I thought I would try it again. And I got the Fenty Beauty. And I've been loving this. I've been wearing this almost every day. I did wear this today. But I've been wearing this almost every day. And this is in, um, what color am I? 445 I'm in the color 445 and it does say shake really good so maybe that's another reason why I didn't go too good with my skin but I have been loving this loving 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 Rihanna um yeah that is pretty much it oh no it's not <laughs> ah, stop it Tati stop it okay so Another thing I have been loving is my Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray Mattifying. I got this from Marshalls for like $6. I've been really, really loving this. I did not put any setting spray on today, y'all. I was in a hurry. I had so many things I needed to do, so I missed so many steps in my makeup step. Like, I did not contour this nose. Y'all know that I had a Pocahontas nose. No, I'm not, it's not Pocahontas. <laughs> Why did I even say that? I think because I'm thinking of this hair. Um, I just have a big nose and it needs, this nose needs to be contour, baby. You know, at one point in time, y'all, let me give you a short story. I was actually considering getting a nose job and I actually um, seen a plastic surgeon about it. And I, um, like, the opportunity was there. Like, everything would have been paid for um, and everything. I was already, um, I won't say approved, but I was always already given the go for um a nose job um so i was considering it i talked to a plastic surgeon actually in houston texas at the time when i was living in san angelo and he was showing me what my nose would look like which my nose would actually look like my little sister's nose we have the same nose but her nose is much smaller than mine's that's what my nose would have looked like. So he was, you know, they're showing me my face, what it would look like, you know, all to explaining to me all the things that would go on after my nose surgery and yada, 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 yada. So y'all, how about I said, yeah, I'm not going to change my nose because I did inherit this nose from my dad. My dad is a very handsome man. So I thought, let me just keep my nose because it makes me really unique. Although it was a center of bullying when I grew up. It wasn't this big, of course. 
but I just was like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my nose. And instead of getting my nose done, y'all, I took the money and got a um, breast reduction. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I, I changed my mind. Plus, they wasn't going to actually do my surgery in Houston. I was gonna have to actually go to Los Angeles or Miami because the doctor that I seen, he actually did not do like rhinoplastic surgery and that's what it's called in the, in the hospital that he was at in Houston. He actually did it in his, cause he practiced, he was able to practice in California, Miami, and New York. So I would have had to pick one of those places to go get the surgery and I just thought that was just too much. Whatever, call me big nose if you want to, but it makes me look unique. Okay, so another makeup uh, item I've been loving is this Juvia's Place. Like, I was rocking this a lot, like, last winter, I believe. But I've just been right back on this because, yeah, these are such beautiful. They're actually beautiful fall colors, but it's okay because I got this big Pocahontas-type hair that... Um, going on situations. So I've been wearing a lot of these colors from this Juvia palette. And I got this from Ulta. It was on sale when I got it. And I've been rocking like these three colors the most. That one, that one, and that one. And I've been using this one as a blending. But I've been really, really liking this. So that... And I think that's it as far as makeup. And a, a household item that I've been really liking is these candles. This is called Candlelight. And it's in the orange vanilla. Oh, goodness. It smells so good. I got this from Kroger. And they sell the big size, too. But these were like a dollar. So I just got a bunch of them. And oh, my goodness. It smells like clean it smells like orange it smells like candy it smells like a popsicle it smells so good and it just this one little candle goes smells up my whole house and I don't have a small a small apartment just this one candle y'all like I said I got this from Kroger so let me let me let me see let me see let me see um yeah, uh, all the things I've been loving. I have been loving this Flower Beauty Concealer. Y'all, I have been really, really loving this concealer. Um, it puts you in the mind of, it puts you in the mind of a couple of high-end concealers. NARS has a concealer that this puts you in the mind with Tarte. Uh, shape tape, yeah, this can be a dupe for that too. So, yeah, this I've been loving this concealer. Really, I've also been loving this NYX NYX uh, Pro It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer Base. I've been really loving this, and I got this for Ulta for like I think it was like six or seven dollars. So I've been really loving this too. So, yeah, it could be. A dupe for a high-end um, eyeshadow base. If you're the type that even with concealer, your eyeshadows crease because mine's do, so I still have to wear a base. So I've been loving this too. Another thing I have been loving was um, is, and it has a lot to do with oral care. Is I've been loving this Aqua Fresh Extreme Clean. Fluoride toothpaste. I have been really, really, really loving this. Um, yeah, y'all, I have been loving that toothpaste. And another thing is obvious, is obvious in a couple of my videos, what I've been loving is this dark green color on my nails and my feet. I have been obsessed with this neon yellow color. This is my third time me getting... The third time getting my nail done and wearing, rocking this nail color. So I have been loving, loving, loving this nail color. I've been obsessed with it. But I promise you this. The next time I get my nail done, I'm not getting the neon yellow. I promise you. But anyways, those are the things that I have been loving. And I want you guys to have a 
wonderful weekend. Have a blessed summer. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thank you so much.